Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you this super easy skillet version of chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is a classic warm and comforting dish. And this no fuss shortcut version is easily made in one pan. It has tender pieces of chicken and veggies smothered in gravy and topped with a store-bought pie crust. And I know your family is going to love this recipe. So let's get started. To begin, I have one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I'm gonna cut up into bite-sized pieces, but you can also use a rotisserie chicken or if you have any leftover chicken in the fridge, you can go ahead and just shred that up. Um, I am using boneless, skinless chicken thighs because I find that when it comes to a longer cooking time, the chicken thighs hold up nice and will come out nice and tender. Chicken pot pie is one of those homey meals that my husband really loves, but I never really got around to making it just because I felt like it involved so many steps. But after making this shortcut version, I'm happy to say that I will be making this again and again. And forget making that pie crust from scratch. I mean, you know I love simple, so. Store-bought pie crust honestly is the way to go. Unless you want to do make it from scratch. I'm sure there's recipes that you can find online. I'm also gonna dice up some potatoes and add it to our chicken pot pie. I like to add potatoes because it adds some hardiness and some texture. We want everything nice and bite-sized in our chicken pot pie. I am almost ready to bring everything over to the stove. I just want to go over a few things that we're going to be needing. And I'm actually going to be using a, a frozen package of peas and carrots. Um, this is a 12 ounce package, which is about two cups. You could also use a package of mixed vegetables or you can cut up some fresh vegetables. It's totally up to you. And then to make everything easy, I'm gonna cook everything in this 12 inch cast iron skillet so I can easily transfer it to the oven. If you don't have an oven safe skillet, you wanna transfer it to a baking dish. All right, so meet me over at the stove. I have my pan heated over medium high heat and I'm gonna add in the chicken. And I'm going to give it a good seasoning of some salt and pepper. I'm going to continue the cook, stirring occasionally for about four minutes. Just a quick reminder, if you're new on here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to share simple and delicious recipes with you guys. Now that the chicken is looking good, I'm gonna remove it and set it aside. I'm going to add more oil to the pan and I'm gonna saute one small diced onion along with three minced garlic cloves. And I'm gonna cook this down until it's slightly softened. This will take about two minutes. And don't forget to season along the way. Our onions are looking good. They're turning slightly brown in color. So now it's time to add in the diced potatoes. I really love potatoes in my chicken pot pie. It gives it some great texture and just makes it a nice and hearty dish. Going in with some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna to continue to cook this over medium heat for about five minutes. They don't need to be tender and cooked through at this point since they'll finish cooking in the oven. After five minutes, it's time to add in the frozen veggies. I'm using peas and carrots today, which I picked up at Target. But if you can't find just peas and carrots, you could also just use mixed vegetables or you can use fresh vegetables if you prefer. I find that sometimes using frozen veggies just makes my life a little easier. I've also added four tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna stir until the butter has completely melted. After the butter has melted, I'm gonna sprinkle in one fourth cup of flour. And I'm gonna stir until the flour has cooked down a bit and I no longer see white powder. Now I'm going to add in two cups of chicken broth. And this is gonna make a delicious gravy for our chicken pot pie. I didn't add any, but feel free to add any herbs of your choice. 
Lately, I've been adding a little bit of Better Than Bouillon to give it a richer flavor, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Now it's time to return the chicken back to the pan. Now I'm gonna stir everything together and I'm gonna give it a good seasoning of some salt and pepper to bring out those flavors. So our chicken pot pie is already looking so good, you guys. And now it's time for the final touches. And here, to make my life a lot easier, I have a store-bought pie crust that you could easily find in the freezer section of your grocery store. And I just thawed it in the fridge, and I'm just gonna place it nicely over the skillet here. So my skillet is a 12-inch skillet, so there is no overhang. So if your skillet is smaller, um, you're gonna wanna like push and crimp your pie crust onto the skillet. So for mine, I just gently slipped it on here. Okay, so I also wanna take an egg, a scrambled egg, and we're gonna brush it over the top so that it comes out nice and golden when it comes out of the oven. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on there. It's like painting. I should have had my son do this. He loves any type of like art, painting, drawing. And there's gonna be a little bit of egg left over and with the price of egg these days, don't waste it. I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this and eat it over some toast, because we don't wanna waste any eggs. All right, and I also want to season it with a little bit of salt. Remember, we're seasoning every layer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut about like five slits for the steam to vent. All right, this is ready to go into the oven. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and we're gonna bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes until the crust is nice and golden. A little close up of how it looks before it's going in. Now it's time to put this in the oven and get some chores done. 30 minutes has passed and look how nice, golden, and delicious the crust looks. And everything is nice and lovely. All right guys, it's the moment of truth. It's time for the taste test. And what I really love about this dish also is that we don't need to make any other side dishes. We have our protein, our veggies, and our carbs all in one pan. Ooh, this gravy is looking really good, nice and thick. All right, let's get the pie crust, a little bit of potato, a little chicken, and there you go. Cheers, you guys. Mmm, this is just such a warm and comforting dish. Try out this recipe, guys, you're gonna love it. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.